Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about DHCP split scope. This is the third video in DHCP configuration. Uh, uh, so split scope, DHCP split, split scopes uh, by book definition scopes are usually split into one of two configuration 50-50 half the IP addresses are on primary DHCP server and half of them secondary DHCP server. This configuration is usually used for load balancing or 80-20, 80% of the IP address on primary server and 20% uh, IP address on the secondary server. So basically it is used for load balancing some, uh, so in this case uh, both servers you need two DHCP servers and the scope will be split among the two DHCP server. Uh, and how does it work? So all you need to do is first of all we need to have a DHCP role on this first server and we need to make this as a DHCP server as well so from our previous lab this server is already a DHCP server and already has a scope uh, which is already providing IP address to all the clients we are going to install a second DHCP server and then we will split the scope into two 80% uh, IP address will be provided from this and the secondary and uh, uh, from this server is 20% of the IP addresses will be from here uh, let's do that in the lab everyone uh, so all I need to do first of all I do have a DHCP service on this I need to install a second uh, uh, the make this second server as a DHCP server uh, go into roles and feature this is exactly like normal DHCP installation why are we doing split scope because we need to load balance uh, for load balance uh, the automatic IP address assignment in a, in a large network and also sometimes it is used for uh, failover as well uh, also sometimes it is used for fault tolerance as well if uh, if uh, if the first server is not available then second server will be able to provide IP addresses so here I'm gonna just select and uh, continue with the installation it will take few minutes so I'm gonna pause the video so DHCP is installed on the second server so we are going to complete the uh, configuration so first thing is this needs to be authorized from Active Directory so I made sure that I was logged in onto my domain so 360 cloud slash is the domain slash administrator this ad account needs to be an enterprise admin account uh, so here I'm gonna commit and it gives me a done uh, normally if it gives you an error message it means that you're not logged in properly uh, so just make sure you're logged into a domain so once this is done we can close this wizard we can open uh, DHCP manager and now we can uh, we can uh, 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 complete the split scope configuration so first of all here uh, on this uh, on this server I can see there are no scopes here on this server obviously this is a new server and I can go back to the first server and I can right click here um, and here uh, within this uh, so we can find split scope actually right here on the scope go to advanced and here you have a split scope option for now the scope is only available within this and if I need to split it so basically this complete subnet of uh, 254 IP addresses will be provided from this subnet if I need to split this scope or I need to create another scope that I there needs to be a split scope that uh, that can be uh, done so you need to create a new scope and then split it I'm gonna split this same scope that I uh, that I have have it's uh, so in order to create this scope you can you can go back to part two of this configuration so here I'm gonna go to split scope and next and here it's saying what is the name of the other server so now I'm gonna give the name of the other server this is the first server I'm gonna need the second server so on this make sure that that server is uh, that server uh, the other server is uh, DHCP as well I'm gonna check name because all my server name starts from 360 that's why I've just written 360 and uh, and uh, just uh, check you need to click on check names and here you will see all the names of the server that are registered with Active Directory so this is my second server on which my DHCP is installed and I'm gonna press OK 
and click OK on this. If that server is the DHCP server, then it will be accepted as an additional server. Otherwise, it will give you an error message to uh, you need to make sure that the other server is DHCP server. So that server is uh, is basically considered as a DHCP server. It automatically got the IP address and next. Now on the second screen, it will ask me about the option. How do you want to divide the number of IP addresses uh, from this code 5050, 8020 or uh, however you want it. By default, it's showing that it is 8020, 8020. So 80% of the IP addresses will be given by this server and 20% of the IP address will be given by this server. So if I go with 5050 split, so this, this means both server will be providing IP addresses and and there will be a delay in providing so first server will provide the first IP address and the second server will provide the second IP address uh, it's in the on the next screen but here it's 50 50 scope will be divided uh, remember that we haven't done any configuration other, um, of scope configuration in server 2 but this will make sure that it will uh, it will provide it will uh, split the it will create a scope this uh, half of the scope on the other server so this is where it's saying delay in DHCP offers so here we're saying milliseconds so I'm gonna say 5,000 5,000 or 1,000 okay so 1,000 milliseconds uh, delay in offering IP address so here the first server will be providing IP address if first server is not able to provide IP address so it will wait for a thousand milliseconds and uh, which is equal to one uh which is equal to one second or 10 seconds okay so we can check that out actually right here uh what is so i'm gonna say convert thousand uh milli thousand milliseconds to minutes so that will be so two seconds actually so I'm gonna say millisecond two seconds there will be one okay so this is one okay this is one millisecond this is one second and if I want to wait for five seconds so there will be five thousand I'm not sure if it is getting this value uh, what is the maximum it can get so it can get maximum of 1000 or can I go more? No, it cannot. So after one second, this other server can offer address and here uh, finish. So everything is done. I'm gonna go to the other server and I'm gonna refresh this. And once you refresh this, make sure you have the other scope available. So this is the other half of the scope and it is uh, now on the other server and all you need to do that this is activated so right click on this and here you can activate so here the word activate make sure it is activated now half of the scope is there and half of the scope is on this server thank you for watching this video i'm going to see you in another video